to Mississauga Creates. I'm your host, Angela Chow, and weekly I will be interviewing local creatives, showcasing the amazing talent in my hometown, Mississauga. Today we are joined by award-winning Abstract Visual Artist of the Year in 2017, me, Angela Chow. Tell me a bit about yourself. I'm a Taiwanese Canadian living here in Mississauga for about 30 years. My professional career is a second camera assistant with IATSE 667 for the Toronto film industry, but I identify more as a visual artist. My passion in creating abstract art began following my recovery from a concussion. I started painting to help release a lot of emotions going on inside of me. Art has given me a sense of pride, hope, and belonging. I'm creating and forming my own journey of healing. I've had many wonderful opportunities, like having a Mercedes AMG campaign. In March 2016, Never Stop Challenging campaign, I spoke about my concussion symptoms and how I use art to manage stress, anxiety, and depression. My story was chosen amongst over 3,000 entries, and this campaign appeared on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, as well as the Mercedes AMG website as their top banner. This generated 50,000 likes, comments, and shares across all platforms and allowed for an open conversation online about mental health. My short one minute documentary was chosen by Culture Days Canada in 2017, which was funded by Sun Life Financial for the $75,000 campaign. I shared my artistic journey using visual arts as a platform to impact change. My story is about instilling hope amongst those who have brain injuries and reaches out to those suffering silently with depression and anxiety. This documentary was screened in 1400 Cineplex theaters across Canada over a span of nine days. In 2017, I was awarded the Emerging Visual Artist of the Year at the Marty's by the Mississauga Arts Council. During this award ceremony, I spoke to over 200 attendees about overcoming my challenges from my concussion by using art as a way to discuss my feelings. In 2018, I was nominated in my community at the credits for a Modern Heritage Award for spreading mental health awareness through art. I was the recipient of the Community Heritage Award and the Modern Heritage Award in 2019 for my role in celebrating urban growth and innovation promoting mental well-being through art by the heritage of Mississauga. I have a collaborative purse collection with Pink Sticks. By combining art with fashion, a new adventure is created. Abstract artworks are paired carefully with unique purse designs. I'm thrilled to say I have over 12 purse collections and continue to grow as new styles emerge with each new season. Last year, I started collaborating with award-winning poet Susan Keselpolsky. Together, we received the Fusion Art Grant from Mississauga Arts Council. Feel it is what happens when the creative energy of music, art, and poetry come together and capture the expressionism of emotion on canvas with words. Expressing emotions is healthy. When we express versus depress how we feel, we support our brain's well-being. When we express our emotions, it liberates us. How long have you been an artist, and when did you get started? I've been an artist for about five years, but I feel like my soul was always creating. Painting has nurtured and navigated me through my journey of self-discovery. For me, art speaks through bold colors and vivid textures. Each brushstroke on my canvas makes a statement, illustrating and liberating my thoughts and feelings. Having this artistic talent, is a great platform to speak openly about my life experiences and allows me to connect and help others who see themselves in my work. I've discovered and embraced my new identity, allowing my audience to gain perspective into my emotions through colors, textures on canvas. Why do you create and what is your creative process? My creative process is solely based on how I feel. I'm directed by the highs and lows in life and I output that onto canvas. Firstly, a concussion feels like having your world turned upside down. Speaking a whole new language, learning how to walk again, I had to learn how to deal with the new me. So finding my escape through art and creating is my new dialect. I create fluently in bright colors 
and abstract textures. Through art, I'm able to express what I feel inside. I create to process my emotional barriers. The canvas is a snapshot photograph of how I felt at that exact moment while painting. I never go back and add touches to a painting as I feel it's not authentic to the exact time frame of how I felt. Once I stand in front of my blank canvas, I allow my mind to flow, to feel and express with a million thoughts and yet nothing specific. The lines flow through my body as if my mind is connected to the universe. My hands are extensions to this thought, this emotion. The paint flows through bright colors and random textures, lines and shapes, ornate yet solid. I allow my mind to create. I listen to my body. I paint in a complete meditative mode. I'm overtaken by the ability to output a message, a circumstance, an emotion. I just let myself feel. I don't hold back. When I paint, I'm tuned in with my feeling. I see it within my soul and I paint exactly what I feel. What is your inspiration? I'm inspired by my emotions. My feelings fuel my art. I paint solely from what I feel inside. I'm inspired by shadows from objects and how light reflects onto surfaces. I look at the shapes, the bends, the indents of buildings and take in the architecture around me. I'm someone who notices patterns in life, nature, food and numbers. So I apply these patterns and my experiences into my abstract art. What do you feel before you create? And what do you feel after you create? Well, before I create, I usually feel anxiety or depression or sadness inside. And after I paint, that feeling has been lifted off of me as if my soul is reborn. I feel like that emotion was left onto canvas and I can breathe again. To me, art is instant therapy. Art has the power to engage. Art can reduce stress and distract from other worries. Painting creates a positive, healthy state of mind. How do you choose your title for your artwork? My title is usually chosen after a painting is created. I jot down words based on how I felt, colors used, or the meaning of the painting on paper. Then I create a short poem that's three to five lines long. From there, I choose a few key words that describe the poem and a title is formed. What tips would you give to someone who just had a concussion? For those going through a concussion, I would suggest a support group. Finding family or friends who have gone through the same thing and finding support through them. Don't give up. You will be going through emotional and mental changes. You won't feel yourself. It will take time to adjust to this new life, but it does get better. For me, I felt very lonely after my concussion. So that from my experiences, I dedicated myself to helping others overcome their darkness with a passion. The concussion has diminished many skills that I previously had, but painting is now my new form of communication, and I intend to use that talent to spread concussion awareness and promote mental well-being through art. What tips would you give to emerging artists? Well, I was an emerging artist not long ago. I'm headed into my fifth year of creating, so now I'm considered an established artist. For emerging artists, I would suggest just to keep trying. Keep painting, keep drawing, keep whatever your medium is, keep doing it. Explore different styles and develop your own voice through experiments. Apply to galleries and exhibits. Meet other artists. Join a local arts council. If you're in Mississauga, join the Mississauga Arts Council and the Visual Arts Mississauga. By doing so, you are open to so many opportunities, information, workshops, and calls to submission. You will be rejected, and that's a part of the journey. Don't feel defeated. There will be other chances. What has helped you get through this pandemic? Keeping on a routine has helped me get through these self-isolation periods. I wake up and create a mandala every morning. I have breakfast, and then I brainstorm ideas for my tutorial videos and gather my supplies for my craft room. I head outdoors for a short walk or a bike ride. There's many fantastic trails in close proximity to my home. After I walk, I have lunch and start shooting my tutorial. Then I download the videos from my camera and I start editing in the evening. Keeping on a routine is very important for me. What are you creating during this pandemic? Even through these self-isolation periods, I'm creating and nurturing my skills and editing photography to create online content.
I'm working on our podcast, Brain Chord. It's a creative collaboration with Susan Kozlopolsky and myself, with music provided by Anthony Barr. Brain Chord represents three artists working in different art forms in harmony to explore the role of art as a creative outlet for emotional and mental hygiene. I started a new YouTube series called Make Something Every Day, sharing my love for arts and crafts. Weekly, I share a new simple tutorial that is mostly kid-friendly with materials found in my home. I've had a great time creating these little videos and love getting feedback. There's so many more tutorials and I'm excited to share it with you. I've started another series called Mississauga Creates, which you're watching right now, where I'm interviewing local creatives to showcase the many talents in my hometown, Mississauga. Mississauga Creates captures this moment in time that is so unique and sheds light on what we're doing individually and also what we're doing as a community to help get through this pandemic. How can art help mental well-being? Art creates a bridge opening the space for conversation that creates connections. This is why art has the power to uplift and motivate us. The imagination of other artists, poets, and musicians touch us. Through creative expression, we can see a part of ourselves we cannot give a voice to. This helps us validate our shared humanity. Art is how we make sense of the world and express who we are in it. Art is a creative tool that energizes and restores us. When we express our emotions, it liberates us. Art helps process feelings. It reduces stress, anxiety, and increases self-esteem. Art can be engaging and speak emotions some cannot express into words. The greatest benefit of painting and visual arts is having a healthy outlet to outpour your emotions and let go. How are you helping out during this pandemic? I've created a space for those to learn about my arts and crafts tutorials on YouTube. I'm sharing my experiences and using materials found in my home to create a new DIY every day. Keeping myself on a routine to create these videos has been instrumental to my mental well-being. During my mindful mornings, I draw out my stresses, and in return, I'm helping others create and be mindful themselves. What tips would you give to people right now? Stay safe and keep a distance. Keep your mind, body, and soul active and make something every day. Where can we find you online? On Facebook and Instagram, I'm at Mindless Doodles. On YouTube, I'm Angela Chow Bella. And my website is www.mindlessdoodle.ca. And that was my episode of Mississauga Creates. Tune in every week where I will be interviewing local creatives, showcasing the amazing talent in my hometown, Mississauga. If you like this interview, please subscribe below. See you next time.